welcome to episode 27 of In The Lab. This week we are talking about Big Idea Camp and what happened two weeks ago. Hey Jordy. Hey Jeff, how's it going? I am great. How about yourself? Doing pretty well. Have, have you finally recovered from last Friday? I'm not sure I've fully recovered yet, but I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm still okay. shaking with inspiration. <laughs> but honestly, it, was, it turned out way better than I thought it would. We didn't have really high expectations because we didn't get a huge turnout. We wanted to do a whole week long, pared it down just to a day, um, but a jam-packed day. It was a jam-packed day, yeah. It was beta version, so this was kind of our chance to test everything out uh, before next year we roll out the full week camp, so we got a lot of highlights. Yeah, it was all, six kids, two teams, green versus blue. What was it? Sloths in suits versus blossom. The blossoms. Blue plus awesome equals blossom. <laughs> um, first challenge, they got in, we got in the boardroom here at, uh, at Strategy Lab and we talked about negativity horn. You can't be negative. And we had an air horn. <laughs> we, <laughs> and that's how we told people that. <laughs> that's, what, how, that's how we started the day off, is that if you're going to be negative today, we're going to blare the horn because we don't want to be any part of that. And uh, honestly, we only, we only use it twice, which is really funny. Yeah, that that's how works. often we actually had people call out other people for being negative. Then after that was 3 and 30. So talk about yourself. Three things that people don't know about yourself in 30 seconds each. And we had somebody at the back of the room hold up a sign every time 30 seconds was up. That's really hard. I want to do that with my SAS Polytech class. That was Jordy's idea. It was that's, awesome. It was great. It's amazing what you can learn about somebody in 30 seconds. For sure. What was next, Jordan? What did we do? After that, we had uh, Tyler Gray from Carmichael Outreach came in, and we did the Curious Case of Carmichael Outreach. So the students got to learn about the nonprofit, and uh, they had to come up with a way to advertise uh, and create a better plan for their Friday cleanups, and had some awesome ideas. Yeah, they only had like literally uh, 20 minutes. We, they went to a coffee shop, Bobby Joe's, just over here, or Starbucks, and they had to come up with a plan to present to Tyler. And he was impressed. He said, like, they didn't tell him he was doing anything wrong. They basically said, you should try this. And what, I, the idea that won was art. Trash art. Trash art. Yeah. And she, one of the people actually Googled um, trash art, and there was a picture of Einstein uh, on the side of this garbage can. It was like rebranding what trash actually means to us. <clears throat> Next challenge was the amazing sticker challenge, or what we like to call Negotiation 101. They were given a pack of stickers, and they had to negotiate for the biggest, best prize on the street. And again, they only had 25 minutes. And that one, they actually went down 13th Ave, and they met a couple of different people from the employment network, from, was there a shoe store, an art store, been, paper yeah. umbrella? Yeah, paper umbrella was there as well, yeah. It, it was awesome. It was awesome. And then... After that, we had uh, lunch, so it was the best $30 lunch you've ever had. So each team was given $30, and they had to come up with an appetizer, a main, and a dessert. Uh, and we got to test it. We kind of... Kind of like chop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the meals were amazing. We had stuff from food trucks, Mr. Spud's poutinery. We had the full Safeway experience. So, so you're sitting at co-work, and you have half an hour to get the best meal ever? I thought everyone goes to Safeway, and, and they build the greatest sandwich. No. One people or the one group got a Chinese food dish with four different options. Another group went to Mr. Spud's yeah, so poutinery cool. and got yeah. the best fries ever. <laughs> and we're just like, you you ran all the way to Folk Fest and back in that time. They're like, yeah. I think the entire camp was in a food coma for the next challenge, <laughs> but they snapped out. Because the point. lying about the frozen banana. Yeah. There was an issue with dessert. We, we, won't, we won't talk, talk about, about that, that today. Yeah. Negativity horn. <laughs> <laughs> After lunch, um, two trucks pulled up. Two trucks pulled up, a GMC and a Ford, and we all piled in, and the folks at Capital Auto Mall, um, they trucked us over, they told us about, my group was Ford, uh, Jordan's group GMC was Sierra. GMC, and we talked about the brand, because once they got to the boardroom at Ford, they're going to be coming up with uh, basically a minute-long commercial that they could possibly shoot after. Yeah, it was very cool. We were in the Galaxy Room, the Star Room, the Galaxy Room at uh, Capital Ford. Awesome experience for the students. Uh, you know, they're working with the actual marketing team there and got to pitch it uh, right to the Capital Four people. Got a tour of the plate, saw one of the biggest yeah. light boxes I think we've ever seen. A turntable yeah. where the cars drive onto and they turn to photograph them. Yeah. I got a really cool massage experience. from the chair in the truck on the way. <laughs> Never had that before. <laughs> then we, that, that was only an hour long. We trucked them back to co work and we finished off with the final, the finale of the Instagram challenge. At the start of the day, they're given a pack of mustaches and whoever had the most 
let, there was a formula for likes, comments, and shares. Whoever had the most, well, they were going to win. And one group. I think they bent the rules a little. Did some creative commenting, but you know, they did well. <laughs> There's a book called First Break All the Rules. Um, coolest thing, though, that three of the students that were in it, one's going to UBC, one's going to U of S, and one's going to Oregon State, which is like the alumni that we're going to have for this is, is unbelievable. And yeah. The feedback forms. Looks... Feedback forms were amazing. Yeah, we got actually a, a full page of feedback from one of our, uh, our first Big Idea Camp beta testers, and... I think we had a lot of great excited videos. about it. I, I think they just they didn't know what it was we didn't know what it was but they kind of figured out this is amazing well and then finally at the end of the day too we th we thought a couple people were waiting for a ride <laughs> it was literally an hour and a half after camp had ended and I look over I'm like are you guys waiting for a ride <laughs> and this poor little girl was like no we're just hanging out <laughs> and we arrived Jordan and I look at each other we're just like go you have to get out of here like uh, it's already five people but, did not want to leave it was a lot of fun. which is amazing which is that that's amazing so I think we already have our six uh, camp leaders already lined up. Yeah. But if you're a business or an organization or a giant, talk to us. We want to line up a challenge or a case or something that's going to help these students and you figure out a business problem in a new, inventive way. Yeah. Maybe you could check out our website here. <laughs> and subscribe here. Peace be the journey.